Uh, good morning. Uh, first of all, thank you for giving me the floor and thank you for inviting me and giving me the opportunity to share about uh, fibril illnesses in Madagascar. So, uh, to start, I would like to say a few words about Madagascar. Madagascar is a, a big island located in the Indian Ocean. It's a tropical country, so fever is very common. And uh, the, the health system is uh, composed by, we have three levels of health system, primary, secondary, and tertiary. So for this presentation, to collect the, the data, you used the, the canvas you have sent to us. So we got uh, data from two university hospital centers and data from the direction of uh, health monitoring and uh, uh, disease surveillance. So here we, we, they, we have uh, two university hospital centers. The first one, the University Hospital Joseph Racheta Bifuletan for the management of uh, adults and children. We collect, collected the data from the infectious disease unit but to gastroenterology unit, pneumology unit, and pediatric unit. So we got also data from the University Pediatric Hospital. Both are lo located in the capital of Madagascar. And as I said, we received data from the two, to have a more pre representative data concerning Madagascar. We asked data from Direction of Health Monitoring and Disease Surveillance. Unfortunately, they could not give us all the data because they could not distinguish uh, children under five, children over five, and adults. So, let's start with the University Hospital Joseph Hospital uh, Bifoletan, not where I work. So, here we see the evolution of uh, acute uh, fever cases in 2015. 2016 and 2017. So in 2015 and 2016, the number of cases were stable. But in 2017, the, the number has more than doubled because uh, that year we had the uh, a plague outbreak and uh, may probably may we had uh, another concomitant a good respiratory infections. So here we, we see that most of the time, usually, we have the, um, the proportion of uh, a fever with uh, respiratory, res respiratory syndromes uh, is very, I would say, it's, uh, it's uh, m more common. So especially in uh, children under five, but in uh, 2017, uh, the situation, I mean, the number of cases among children and adults, children uh, uh, over five and children, were more important, was more important because of the uh, out, uh, plague outbreak. Then, in second, second position, we have the fever with uh, gastrointestinal uh, symptoms. But we wanted uh, to see what happened, what happened uh, in uh, 2018, in 2018, with uh, fever, with rash, uh, took the first place because we had also an outbreak of uh, measles in Madagascar uh, last year. So, the, the, the University Hospital, Joseph Rosetta Befeleden, was the referral hospital for the management of plague epidemic and the measles epidemic. In fact, these patients were very contagious, mainly for the people living in the capital. So, according to the WHO, we, there were more than 1,500 cases during the, the plague epidemic. Um, Plague is uh, endemic in Madagascar, so most of the time we have bubonic cases, but last, and in 2017, we have 
several cases of pulmonary plague, which were very contagious. And the uh, measles epidemic started in October 2018. It continues until now. So according to the Ministry of Public Health, there were more than 15,000 cases. The, the, the main reason is the low vaccination rate. So here we see the, the slide concerning the chronic fever in our hospital. So we see that chronic fever is uh, rare in the children under five. Most, of, most cases are seen in children over five and in adults. And uh, the, most of the time, the origin were known. So the, the proportion of uh, chronic fever of an unknown origin was r relatively rare. And here we see the proportion of acute fever and the chronic fever most of the time. Uh, acute fever is uh, much more uh, common, much more frequent. But uh, all the cases of, uh, of fever did not meet the definition of acute or chronic fever. Some in the middle, 10 days, 15 days, 10, uh, less than 20 days. So to summarize, during three years, most of the time, the proportion of a fever with a respiratory symptom is uh, high, is very high. But in, uh, in the 2017, the number of cases of uh, of, um, of fever with uh, respiratory increased because of the plague outbreak. And this year, in 20, in uh, 2018, we had more cases of fever with rush because of the, the at Brussels outbreak. So we wanted to know the proportion of a patient presenting um, fever in our department. So last year we admitted 648 patients in our in unit and the proportion of febrile diseases was 72%. But there may, may be a bias. This, this, this that did not, does not reflect the usual situation because this year, last year, till now we have the outbreak of measles. And in the pediatric unit, the number of hospitalization has doubled. And for febrile for diseases represented more than 60%. So you wanted to look at the the, the diagnostics, the, the cause. So, last year, the men, I mean, measles hold the first rank, more than 26%. So, but usually, tuberculosis is the most frequent, frequent disease, disease in our department, followed by malaria, HIV infection, and bacterial pneumonia. Then central nervous system, bacterial infection, urinary tract, and the typhoid fever and febrile diarrhea are not very common. And in the pediatric unit, this time, this year, last year, because of the outbreak, measles uh, was in the first rank. But usually, the first rank is held by neonatal infection, and uh, it's also the cause of, uh, is responsible of very high uh, mortality rate. And now the, it is, uh, the neonatal infection is followed by bronchiolitis. Uh, the, the last five years, we, every, every year, we had uh, outbreak of bronchiolitis in different parts, different regions of Madagascar. And uh, anyway, we pay attention to this disease. Regarding the laboratory capacity, in our hospital we can do blood culture, CSF culture, other microbiological culture like uh, urine culture, but you can do real-time PCR. And concerning the hospital, the clinical, uh, let's say uh, the, the hospital level, this is a tertiary hospital, um, we have about uh, more than one 1,300 patients 
uh, per month. I, I could not put the number of uh, outpatient because it was hard to have uh, the uh, reliable data, so we have decided not, not to put it. And here we can find the number of bed in the hospital. Concerning the University Pediatric Hospital, so here we find that the number of uh, cases has decreased mainly in, uh, among children under five. The main reason is the decrease of uh, admission capacity due to the renovation of the hospital. And uh, like in our hospital, fever with respiratory symptoms were the more common uh, cases in this hospital. This, this hospital is, uh, was also a referral hospital during the, uh, the measles outbreak. So like in our hospital, we can do blood cultures, CSF culture, the microbiological culture. We can do real-time PCR. This is uh, also a hospital, a tertiary hospital level. As a tertiary hospital, they have about <coughs> one, approximately 200 patients uh, per month, per month, and the number of hospital is now five, uh, 59. So, how about the? This, these are this, this was the situation concerning the hospital, but probably it does not reflect the situation in all the country. We are not representative of the country. So we ask data from the direction of health monitoring and disease surveillance. So uh, these data are based on the uh, side, sentinel set of uh, uh, fever surveillance. So for them, the gastro fever with the gastrointestinal symptoms uh, in the, is in the f uh, 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 takes the first place followed by fever with respiratory symptoms. So here we see the evolution of uh, fever with uh, gastrointestinal symptoms. It was high in uh, 2015, decreased in 2016, but so it's, uh, it has been increased in 2017. So here we see the um, diagram, in fact, the, of the fever with respiratory symptoms. So between 2016 and 2017, there is a a very important uh, uh, increase, a rise of the f fever with respiratory symptoms, in part explained by the outbreak, uh, uh, outbreak, plague outbreak, but probably, maybe, in part with uh, another uh, acute uh, respiratory infection. So to conclude, the the cause of illness among adults and, having, and children having fever in the hospital, the first rank is uh, uh, for the fever with respiratory symptom for, in the, for the direction of health monitoring and disease surveillance. The fever with gastrointestinal symptoms are more frequent, but not all febrile cases don't go to the hospital, and when they are diarrhea, for example, People are used to prescribe or to take uh, uh, antibiotic, uh, um, especially uh, ciprofloxacin can work. And uh, in fact, the, during the, the epidemics can change the deal, can change the situation. So I would say that it's very important to, to, have to, to reinforce the surveillance system, but also uh, very important to improve the laboratory capacity uh, in the tertiary and maybe secondary, even primary uh, facility, uh, facility, uh, health facilities. And uh, I would like to say that the hospitals can play an important, important place during uh, uh, some outbreak with uh, contagious uh, patients. So thank you for your attention. I would like also to thank the people, my colleagues, my students who helped me to collect the data so I can I can I could present to do this presentation. Thank you for your attention.